हियर द क्वेश्चन इज इन द सिंगल मिशन इनफिनाइट बस सिस्टम शोन बिलो द जनरेटर इज डिलीवरिंग द रियल पवर जीरो पॉइंट एट पर यूनिट मीन्स दे गिव इन द रियल पवर वैल्यू ऑफ पी दट इज नथिंग बट जीरो पॉइंट एट पर यूनिट एंड एट जीरो पॉइंट एट पवर फैक्टर लैगिंग एंड ही आल्सो गिव इन द वैल्यू ऑफ पावर फैक्टर दट इज नथिंग बट कास्ट फाइव दट इज वट जीरो पॉइंट एट लैगिंग राइट टू द इनफिनेट बस एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द दिस पावर एंगल ऑफ द जनरेटर इन डिग्रीज ओके लेट सिंप्लीफाई दिस डायग्राम देन यू विल गेट द सर्क्यूट लाइक सो हियर दिस इज द जनरेशन स्टेशन राइट देन यू विल गेट द जनरेशन वोल्टेज लाइक टेक एनी थिंग हियर आई एम टेकिंग दट वोल्टेज इज ई एंड हियर That generator also have some impedance like zero point two five, right? Then take this one that have zero point two five impedance, okay, J. And we have another impedance here zero point two per unit, okay, J zero point two. And coming to here, we have two parallel impedances, right? Then you will get the diagram like this. You will get the two parallel impedances, and finally you will getting the some infinite bus voltage. Take like V is equal to what they are giving. They giving the one at the angle of zero. This is the voltage. Okay, now take the treatment path. That's it. This is the simplified diagram you are getting for this one. Okay. Now after simplify this one, these two are parallel, right? Then you will get the Z D current is equal to one by zero point four plus one by J zero point four. Then finally you are getting the Z D current is equal to zero point two. And here these two are series, right? This J zero point two five and zero point two. Then you will get the zero point two five plus zero point two watt J zero point four five. And here this J zero point four five and this equivalent zero point two J is in series, right? Then you will get the final equivalent impedance is like if you further simplify this diagram, then it will be like this generation voltage E and this equivalent impedance and final we are getting the bus voltage like one at the angle of zero and this J zero point four five plus zero point two you will get the equivalent impedance that is nothing but zero. 0.65. Now apply KVL to this circuit, then you will get the generation voltage E is equal to this voltage V plus. If you take this is the current I, then you will get the I into that Z equivalent. Okay, this value. So here you know the voltage V that is nothing but the one at the angle of zero, and we know the Z equivalent that is nothing but the J 0.65. But we don't know the value of current I. So for calculating this current, we know the formula P is equal to V I cos phi, right? Real power formula. So I is equal to, and we know the power is nothing but 0.8. They already given, right? Okay, then you will get the 0.8 that divided by. We know the value of voltage is one into cos phi. Here they given the cos phi is 0.8. Then you will get the current I is equal to 0.8. 0.8 cancel one. But here cos phi is 0.8 lag, right? If you want to get the value of Phi, then that is equal to cos inverse of 0.8. Then that will be 36.86 lag. Here they giving the that is the lagging power factor. Okay, so means here you are getting the phase angle of this current is minus 36.86. This is the lagging power factor. So now substitute this I value in this equation. Then finally you will get the this equation will be like E is equal to we know the voltage V is equal to one at the angle of zero, right? Plus I we already calculate one at the angle of minus thirty six point eight six into Z equivalent is nothing but we know that that is zero point six five, right? Take this J zero point six five. Okay. Now we need to multiply these two terms, right? Okay. So but here this is in polar form and this is in rectangular form. So we need to convert the polar form into rectangular form. Okay. So for example, if you take this is like R at the angle of theta. So to conversion of rectangular form, we know the formula x is equal to R cos theta. Nothing but R cos phi. So y is equal to R sin phi. So take these two equations here, then you will get the equation like E is equal to one at the angle of zero plus here R is one theta is nothing but the phi is minus thirty six point eight six. Okay. Then you will get the x is equal to R cos phi. So one cos minus thirty six point eight six plus j here. Y is R sin phi, right? Means one sin minus thirty six point eight six, and this whole into J zero point six five. Now you will get the one at the angle of zero plus one cos minus thirty six point eight six is nothing but zero point eight, and this sin minus thirty six point eight six is minus zero point six, and this whole into J zero point six five. So now you will get the E is equal to one at the angle of zero plus 
this 0 0.65 into 0 0.8 then you will get the 0 0.52 j minus this 0 0.6 into 0 0.65 then you will get the j square of 0 0.39 here j square means we know that minus 1 okay this minus 1 and this minus cancel then you will get the equation like e is equal to 1 plus this 0 0.52 j plus 0 0.39 now finally you are getting the e is equal to 1 plus this 0 0.39 then you will get the 1.39 plus 0 0.52 j but in question they are asking calculate the power angle okay we need to calculate the power angle so we know the power angle is tan inverse of y by x if you take this 0 0.2 as y and this is x then you will get the tan inverse of 0 0.52 by 1.39 you will get the answer 20.5 so answer is 20.5 and here they also given round off to one decimal place that's why i'm taking the only 0.5 only